cheapest man-nating ultimate team coins around, check out GoFifaCoins.com and use code ZERK for 5% discount on your order. What is going on guys? It is Zerksum today with another YouTube video. Today, I'm going to do my Team of the Week Week 2 predictions. Now, as you guys can see for the Offensive Master, I went with Travis Kels, 8 catches, 103 yards, and a touchdown. For the QB, we're going with Trevor Simeon, who absolutely destroyed my Cowboys, 116 QBR, 231 yards, and 4 freaking touchdowns. Pretty ashamed to how that game went. I really thought the Cowboys wouldn't be able to pull that one out, but a great game by Trevor Simeon. For the running back, we're going with Javorius Allen, 101 total yards and one receiving touchdown. Now, for the fullback, there really wasn't that many choices I could go with this week, so we really just had to go with someone just completely random, basically. Justin Fowler had three yards and one touchdown. I'm really not too sure who to go with for fullback, but also if you guys want to get yourself a CC like this Travis Kelsey you're seeing right now, or for the defensive master that you will see, you can go to the link in the description. I believe it says thumbnails and graphics. You can go to Combine Works on Twitter, and he'll make you a CC just like this. Now, for the number one receiver, easily Michael Crabtree this week. Six catches, 80 yards, and three touchdowns. Absolutely destroyed the Jets. Wide receiver number two, we're going with J.J. Nelson. Five catches, 120 yards, and also a touchdown. Now, there's always going to be one extra person from one of these sort of positions. So, we're going to go with Martavis Bryant here. Three catches, 91 yards, and a touchdown. Now, for the tight end, we're going to go with Delaney Walker, 62 total offensive yards and a rushing touchdown. Obviously, the other tight ends that could have got this is Travis Kels, who's going to be the set hero. And then I believe Gronkowski had a great game, but of course, he has too high of an overall card. He can't get a team week this early. For the left tackle, we're going with Russell Okung. He only allowed one QB pressure the entire game. Left guard, James Carpenter. Center, J.C. Trenner. Right guard, Shaq Mason. And the right tackle is going to be Joe Haig. Now, basically, those are basically the people that PPR tweeted out. They had the best games because unless you really pay attention to offensive line, it's kind of hard to predict those. But that is the offensive players that I have and also the offensive master. Let's get over to the defense. So, of course, for the defensive team week master, unfortunately... It's another Broncos player, Master Akib Talib, a 103-yard pick six, two tackles, and also two interceptions. Now, at the strong safety, we have Carl Joseph with five tackles, one forced fumble, and a recovery. Free safety, Malik Hooker, two tackles, and an interception, and one cornerback is going to be Desmond Trufano with two tackles, an interception, and a fumble recovery for a touchdown. The last cornerback on this list is Brandon Carr, who had three tackles and an interception, and I believe only allowed two or four passes to be caught in his direction. At the right end, we're going with Deatric Weiss, who had, sorry if I mispronounced his name, but two tackles, one sack, and two QB hits. Middle linebacker, we're going with Benardrick McKinney, six tackles, and two sacks. The second middle linebacker we're going with is going to be Ramon Humber, 11 freaking tackles and a sack. Right outside linebacker is going to be Shaquille Barrett, 7 tackles and a sack. And then left side linebacker, we're going with Tyus Bowser, who had 2 tackles and the interception. At the left end, I know we did lose the game, but I really couldn't find any good left ends this week, except for Demarcus Lawrence, who had 7 tackles, 2 sacks, and a forced fumble. Now, this guy probably could have been the team of the hero if he had a bigger name, like Akib Talib, but Chris Jones, 4 tackles, three sacks, two forced fumbles, and an interception. He'll definitely be the highest set card. And finally, for the defensive tackle, we have Eddie Goldman with four tackles and one sack. But those are my Team of the Week Week 2 predictions. If you guys agree with these or you want to change anything, make sure to let me know down in the comment section. Once again, this is before Monday Night Football because of the fact that last week I don't even think we got anyone from there. And also I'd have to upload it super early if I took count into Monday Night Football. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.